Yo, 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 what is up, fam? Today we're going to be reacting to how Witness Protection manages to keep 100% success rate. Quite a few uh, videos about Witness Protection uh, on this channel, so let's check it out. The Witness Protection Program. Okay, Stuff okay. of TV, movies, and TV movies. TV movies? What the, what the? It is one purpose. Oh, yeah. I know about that genre. It's like... <laughs> Movies that only appear on like the tel television stations, not not they don't make it to the movie. They don't make it to the movies, but they make it kind of the movies. I don't know. <laughs> and it is protect snitches from stitches. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that that's, that's a scary thing that happened right there. Instead, give them switches, which is having a witness ditch his business, burn his bridges, and okay, forget this. It protects and. Oh, don't do that with the laptop, bro. Laptops are important. Performance from retaliation by giving them new identities and recovering it in six minutes. Since its founding in 1971, the Witness Security Program, or WITSEC, has protected over 19,000 people, informants, and their families, and their testimony has led to convictions 89% of the time. Yeah, bro. Even more impressive, not one rule abiding witness has been harmed or killed while under protection. Good, that is good. So how do they do it? It varies by case, but here's... Guys, I'm, le I'm legit uh, interested in this. The standard-ish one. Our witness is a bright young drug mule for the mob in, let's say, Miami. Maybe his name is Sean Frank Hayes. As a boy, he was fascinated by the logistics of the illegal drug trade, but now he's feeling guilty about kneecapping all those goons. Whoa, was that a hand tattoo on a stock footage? Police are closing in, so he rats on the boss to get some leniency. The mob is pretty powerful and doesn't take well to rats. But the rats don't run this city. We do. Law enforcement wants to protect Sean. So the AUSA for the Southern District of Florida sends an application to the DOJ OEO detailing how critical his testimony is to their case, how much. Okay, okay. OEO, never heard of that. Danger he's in and the THP THNC. Then the marshals interview him to ensure he knows what to expect when you're witsicking and send their own recommendation along. That must be a fake book. As a natural born citizen, Sean's playing on easy mode. If he were foreign born or undocumented, ICE might sooner deport him than protect him, so his sponsoring agency would have to fight that, get him off any watch lists, and ensure he has real documents before getting him new ones. Also, if he- Fake documents, right? Uh, I'm sorry, it, it, this video is pretty fast paced for me. If he were incarcerated, he'd have to submit to a polygraph. The Attorney General approved Sean's application, so now he's off by plane and armored vehicle to the so-called Ellis Island for Witnesses. Wit so... They travel him in armored vehicles, guys, wow. Sex safe site and orientation center, a place so secret that even though it can house up to six families at a time, they never see each other, and WITSEC inspectors don't know who's there besides people they're personally protecting. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Even its location is secret. We know it's near DC, but that's it. We put that pin on the Tyson's Corner Mall, and the only secret there is Victoria's. At the center, he gets medical, dental, and psychological exams, and signs a memorandum of understanding, agreeing, among other things, to testify, not do crimes, and not tell anyone about his new identity, which should be super easy, since it's not like he has a history of snitching or anything. Dang, bro, they got a special facility and everything for him, man. For such a massive life change, this can be a pretty short document. This is one of them, and this is what you sign to use Roblox. Now it's time to prep Sean for oh his gosh. new life. The marshals ask where he wants to Yeah, sign one for Roblox, guys. What? It's a video game. Actually, it kind of makes sense, but... ...to go. Uh, Jagex has one for uh, RuneScape, so... ...and, hating cold weather and loving the zoo, he says San Diego. Figuring everyone he knows knows these preferences, they send him to the cold, zooless town of, let's say, Aspen, Colorado. He does get to choose his new name, though. Since you're more likely to respond to and correctly write something familiar... Yo, we gotta pick the name if we go, man. That's cool. Witnesses are encouraged... Guys, occasionally they protect, uh... People for life, guys. ...to keep their first name and initials. But ultimately, it's up to them. Sean chooses this. He gets a brand new social security card, driver's license, and birth certificate, plus documents and new school records for his two weird sons he's bringing with. Sean also has to... Guys, uh, all this, all, all of this... It co probably cost them a lot to, to run this program, for sure. ...prove he has sole custody over said weird... But... ...sons... 
But, uh, you know, definitely got to keep them uh, protected. ...his house and her business and pay off all legal debts in his name before it stops being his name. Now it's back in the armored car and back to the airport. When he lands in Aspen, Witsek takes Sean to a temporary apartment while they bring his furniture and belongings from Miami, a process that can involve three separate moving companies to throw hitmen off the scent. Witsek tells... Dang, bro. Three different movie companies just to move one spot, bro. <laughs> Aspen's law enforcement that there's a new criminal in town, but he's hopefully cool now. They help him find a new job. Witsek once bought a mob guy a fish store and got a drug kingpin a spot at Walmart, along with presumably staffing much of the hardened fighting force of Waffle House. Sean gets at least 90 days of subsistence payments while he gets on his feet. On average, um, you actually have to get a job as a, a witness, guys. What? Average about $1,150 a week, depending on local. Hey man, that means you you would be out there in the public, right, guys? Living costs. But well, that's quite a bit though. Get cut off if he's not actively looking for a job. He lands a UPS gig. Shout out to his delivery experience and a condo for him and his weird sons. He can't contact anyone from his past life unless through a secured phone line or a mail system, both of which route through Witsec, and he can't go anywhere near Miami. Anyone who needs to reach Sean. Damn, bro, he is actually banned from the place he was at. Like Hayes has to arrange for the marshals at least 10 business days in advance, and if he needs to go back to Miami for the trial, he goes under 24-hour protection and will get to the courthouse in some hitman-resistant way, like the back of a mail truck. But back in Aspen, things are pretty normal. He has to check in with the marshals at least once a year, plus whenever he changes address. He can change jobs, move, or leave the program if he wants to. He can even start a modestly successful YouTube channel as long as he doesn't show his face and stays pretty vague about his past. Yo, for real, he could start one? Oh my gosh. Despite Witsec's perfect success rate with rule followers like Sean, it's not all smooth sailing. Witnesses often break the rules and go home, where they get super murdered. They're actually hunting down people on this, guys. What the heck? The booby trap of all things. The mob got him, guys. When he attended a funeral, guys. What the heck? So no one else was at the house? What if they got, like, an innocent civilian, bro? Murder. And mob, the mob just t t literally took a hit out on this guy, man. And some, not most, but some, return to their crimey ways in their new life, which is why there's a victim's compensation fund for people who are hurt or killed by rogue witnesses. For a while, Orange County... Dang, I thought witnesses were all good, bro. They're actually still hurting. California was a protected witness hotspot because one U.S. Marshal lived there and liked having his protectees within an hour's drive. The problem was the witnesses realized each other were there, then started dealing drugs together. During a particular... Oh, what the heck? ...a rough patch for the program, its own creator once said, quote, It is amazing no government witness has been killed, which is great until you see the full quote. But all in all... What's this? Being so poorly run... That's amazing, no government win. Wait, I don't get it. Witsec is a brilliant, complicated- why, why is it so poorly run if no one got- ...a hugely successful program that has helped bring some major bad guys like this to justice, and some minor bad guys like me to ask- Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to- oh, Sorry guys, I gotta go. But before I do, I want to talk to you about one more thing. It's not all the bad guys, though. Somebody that witnesses a murder or something. Your career. Picking a career path is one of the biggest choices you'll make in life, on par with where to live, what to study, or whether to rat on the mom. Your career is going to take up, on average, 80,000 hours of your life. That's Dang, bro. 80,000 hours of YouTube. An absolutely enormous portion. Of course, you've got to make a living somehow, but it's possible both to make a living and to feel like you're doing something fulfilling with an impact, and that's what our video sponsor, 80,000 Hours, helps with. Oh, snap. They made it... <laughs> They decided to go and call it their company name as well. After 10 years of research alongside academics at Oxford University, their team created this totally free nonprofit resource designed to help you make your 80,000 hours count. They're all about giving you useful, actionable advice to help you do well and do good in all sorts of fields. They've got a podcast, a job board, and guides to get you to where you want to go. And again, it's free. So even if you. Okay, okay. Not to that. Let's, uh. Let's read some comments here. Now I want a 30 minute Wendover feature out on Mob Logistics. I love that Sam just outright said that the New York City government is with the Mafia. In quotations. 
Fun fact, it's a bit of an open secret that many people under the witness pit protection are sent to Point Roberts, Washington. And the community is disconnected from the rest of the United States because it's only accessible via boat. Oh yeah, I've been to like a... I used to have family that lived in, in a, like an island. I'm crying too, boarding board across the things to get there. It's an it's added layer of protection since the overland route places two additional checks on anyone accessing the community and removes the ability to bring a firearm arm so only access is by boat boat only access makes it impossible for crooks to reach the island but adds an extra level of security since the area near the border and boats is in the area are con closely monitored okay so many years back where the witness along with two kids would be receiving new identities after the trial but in the meantime they were put up in a one-star roadside motel room for two years because the trial kept getting delayed. One-star motel, what? Uh. So, Loki, mentioning how you mentioned Henry Hill from Goodfellas actually got kicked out because he kept bragging about being the guy from Goodfellas when he got drunk. They got sick of having to relocate him too many times. Also, his wife divorced him partly because of all the hassle and aforementioned relocation. And what happens if the witness has debts they cannot immediately pay off? Even a mortgage could get complicated if you were in negative equity. Alright guys, that's going to be the video. Check, check them out in the description. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out everyone. I got half as interesting.